five miles. I've been usually just having coffee in the morning with some almond creamer and then I work out with just that. I've been working out in the mornings now because of the shelter in place. Usually I'd be working out in the afternoons. <clears throat> So I have coffee in the morning, and then I do my workout, which is usually an hour, and then I have a protein shake after my workout to replenish, and then um, that usually holds me over a few hours, and then I'll have a lunch, later lunch. So my eating schedule has kind of been weird since the shelter in place because my I don't eat breakfast, and then my post-workout is kind of around lunchtime, so I've really been eating only two meals, but anyway. Um, that's but what's been working for me so uh, I would say if you're <clears throat> not hungry don't force yourself to eat unless you're gonna go on like a 10 plus mile run then you probably want to eat a little something and definitely take or definitely take some stuff with you but um, yeah so I've only had coffee this morning and then I have um, some pre-workout this is from Beachbody they're uh, energized it's their fruit punch flavor. I really enjoy it. it tastes really good and kind of just, I don't even know if it really does anything, if it really gives me a boost of energy, but I like the flavor when I'm running. It's kind of just really refreshing when you're hot and sweaty and running. And um, so I always drink this during my run. And then, um, yeah, that's what I do. So anyway, let's get to it. this I've run it since my injury for those of you who don't know I injured my back really bad a few months ago now to where I couldn't walk I couldn't walk for uh, multiple weeks and um, it took me multiple more weeks to be able to move again and um, get back to my normal self I've been doing physical therapy and lots of it's been a journey <laughs> so that is just I can't believe I just ran five miles. I never thought I'd be able to run again. I almost didn't think I'd be able to walk again, so it's a good day. Whew. All right, today I am going to attempt my farthest run so far since my injury a few months ago, and I'm gonna go for six miles. I have, the farthest I've gone is five miles, but I felt really good, felt like I could keep going, so we're gonna try six miles, but I'm going to run outside today. Um, my five miler was on the treadmill, which is a little easier on your body. <clears throat> so we will see how it goes. It's gonna be all pretty flat and I'm going to not worry about pace, just take it easy and enjoy this beautiful weather and see if I can reach six miles. And if not, no worries. Gonna just try to remember that baby steps, it's gonna take time to get back to where I was. So um, let's do it. freaking love running freaking love it if you haven't ran before you need to 
it's amazing. You're just out there in the quiet and the nature. It's just, oh, I don't know, can't get enough. 6.3 miles done, gonna go shower and pick up my girls from their grandma's. Uh, yeah, I just, I did it. I just did it. Okay, so I got this new, this is my um, running protein smoothie shaker cup drawer. My, this is the Becca drawer, Becca cabinet. I have all my goods in here. I got this new um, Vegas Sport Protein peanut butter flavor to try. Um, I've been doing the protein with greens, but it, it's been kind of upsetting my stomach when I do it um, kind of around my workouts because I think it has the greens in it, maybe a little more fiber. So I wanted to do just straight protein for my post-workout. Um, so I found this. I love the Vega brand. It's vegan. Um, and peanut butter. Who doesn't love peanut butter? So um, focus. It's got... 6 grams of carbs, 3 fiber, and 30 protein. Only 3 grams of fat, 170 calories a scoop. So pretty clean. It's got a good amount of potassium, calcium, and iron. Um, so it's got your all, all your amino acids down at the bottom. And um, so this is a pea protein base. So it is plant-based, and I cannot wait to try it. Okay, so what I usually do after my workout is um, get my protein powder and I will get a shaker cup. And I fill this with um, almond milk. Okay, so I have unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I'm going to put some ice in here, just like so, probably not even a cup of ice. Um, probably about a cup of almond milk, a cup and a half maybe, and then I always put the scooper like at the bottom. So I'm going to do one scoop of my peanut butter protein, and then add even more peanut butter, because I love peanut butter. I'm going to add some PB2, probably just like a third of a scoop in there, and then we shake it. Thirty-six grams of protein in this for my post-workout, and it's completely plant-based. So I, I'm gonna drink this, and then I shower, and then I'll have lunch probably in a couple hours. Stuff is the real Dizzle. Good. It's good. Get it. Try it. little restaurant all closed down due to the virus so today we have been working on clearing stuff out organizing um, we cleared out all of our dry dry good products out of our storeroom here 
and we are going to clean all our shelves and repaint them and the girls have turned some of these shelves into little beds <laughs> but that's what we're working on today clearing everything out so this is a great opportunity to do some deep cleaning and stuff that we can't do when we're open so that's what we're doing and hopefully well, we will be able to reopen very soon because we miss our little restaurant. So I'll show you guys around a second. It's our little booth. This is the front of the restaurant, front door there, cash register. And then we have this back room. Lots of seating back here. And yeah, it's our little restaurant. It's very, very busy when we're open. Um, but we've been closed for a month now and hopefully won't be closed much longer. from Instacart from Safeway in our town of Lakeport um, on Sunday. Today is Wednesday. Um, on the When I ordered it said they would be delivered between Sunday and Wednesday. So it is Wednesday at uh, 10.30 and my groceries were just delivered to my door. I do love the whole idea of having your groceries delivered. All right, I'm gonna get out cleaning all these and I'll show you some of the stuff I got. unloaded everything I've wiped down most everything I'm going to take all my veggies and fruits and wash those but um, I am very impressed I uh, the things they had to replace were items that I probably would have replaced also if it was out of stock so you know they had to replace I asked for spring mix they had half and half blend which is no big deal um, I think this is a different frozen veggie than what I wanted but it's all good but yeah everything else I think was okay they only had to replace a few items um, so yeah I'm happy with it uh, now to clean it that's the only hassle with this is you have to clean everything but hey it's better to do it than to not do it and get sick we finally have some nice weather so I am Tanning. Good job. Getting a little sun. It's a beautiful day.
problem area um, from my back injury a few months ago kind of has been flaring up a little bit I've been feeling a little pain so I'm having to take a couple steps back and been doing a lot more um, lower impact stuff I tuned up my bike I got my bike working so I've been doing that inside and walking and as frustrating as it is sometimes you have to take a few step back a few steps backwards before you can take steps forwards so been noticing some pain and one thing I've learned from this injury is that if your body is feeling like anything out of the ordinary listen to it stop and stop what you're doing and take a step back and figure out what's going on so that's kind of what I'm doing right now it's frustrating I really want to just keep running I made it up to six miles but um, important to listen to your body and do what it's telling you so I recommend to anyone who's wanting to increase their mileage um, go get checked out by a, a physical therapist or doctor or chiropractor get your body um, make sure your body is in alignment and in the best condition to put that stress on it because I tell you what if you try to go and do you know increase your mileage too much and your body just the slightest thing is out of whack it will hurt <laughs> and it's not fun so, so please press that like button and subscribe to my channel for more running videos and coaching videos I am loving growing this channel I am starting a running coaching business my own business um, for coaching and helping others find their inner athlete and reach their goals as far as running goes and I'm super excited about it. I'm going to have more info on that to come in the near future um, but comment down below if there are any other kinds of videos you would like to see. Workouts I do during the week, a full day of eating, whatever you're interested in, shoot me a message or comment and I'll try to get those videos out. Love you guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support and I will see you guys in the next video.